Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in North Kingston, Rhode Island, with a frauditor that goes by, well, Rhode Island Justice. And this guy has, well, he has a few screws loose. Yeah, he just doesn't want to listen very well. And, uh, well, he ends up taking a ride to the, uh, big house because of his own stupidity. Oh, yeah, and many thanks to the subscriber who sent me this video. I very much appreciate it. This guy looks like he might be uh, worth watching at the very least. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Police department is out here again. There's two officers out here, two vehicles. What's your name? Hi, I'm Andrew Pluto. Pluto, number 63? Yes, sir. How are you? And number 69, what's your name? My name's Haywood. Haywood? Alright, who's this? Allie who? I'm Allie, I'm the clinician that Alright, please take off your sunglasses. No, she, I, don't, I don't need to do that. Okay, and what's your last name? I don't need to do that. She doesn't need to give you okay, that. Okay, they don't want to give her last name. Oh boy, aren't you power tripping over there, telling that officer to take off her sunglasses. Yeah, it's just one big power trip to make you feel like you're the bigger man in the situation. Well, you're nothing but a little punk for doing that. May I please see your badge? Okay, what are those complaints? First of all, they're lies. Hey, guess what just happened before you say anything further? Um, you, you don't want to give your last name? We're not here to talk she doesn't about need to give you her last name. Okay, so she doesn't want to give her last name, which is sketch. But hear me out. Guess what just happened? I just had a vehicle pull up with a nice lady driving about less than a minute ago. All right? And little girls in it. And I told them the cops are harassing me because I speak up about the systems. And she said the cops don't like that. And I'm telling the little girls and the woman driving, I'm all about women and children, health and safety. Okay, what does one have to do with the other? Because you kind of jumped over from topic to topic right there rather rapidly. So it kind of leaves people uh, confused as to what the hell you are talking about. That's a sign of a disorganized mind right there, man. You need to fix that. So you're out here harassing me because I'm speaking up for my community. And hearsay, all right? The cops are lying about me all the time. Why would they be doing that? I'm not doing anything wrong. I have the freedom of speech. I have the right to be out here. I, I have been attacked by cops on and off duty while they're high on narcotics. All right? I grew up here in Rhode Island. All right? Everything I say is facts. Everything you say is a fact. Uh, well, okay, that's your opinion, dude. And you know what they say about opinions. So, what, what are these complaints you're talking about? That you've been harassing people in the community. That's not true. You've been going up to people's cars and... Nope, I stay right on this island. She said that I'm harassing people in the community. That's not true. That is a common thread among all frauditors, is that they tend to blame everybody else for their problems and claim nothing for their own. They take no ownership of their problems and therefore will end up making things worse. And it tends to snowball and, well, you can guess the rest. She asked if I was recently no trespass from a few places. Ryan, we want to give you the opportunity. You obviously want to get our attention, right? You want to talk to us about some stuff, so we're giving you the opportunity to, to tell us what's, what's going on, like what, what the issue is. You're very vocal about your opinions, and you've made it very clear that you don't like that people are not listening to you, so, so we're here to listen to you. You know, what's going on? So he said they're here to listen to me. Uh, <laughs> they don't care, basically. She doesn't want to give her name. They don't want to be on video. What are, you, uh, what are you out here protesting, Ryan? If you want change to be done, you got to tell us what you're protesting. What are you protesting? I'm not a protester. You're, you're advocating for something, right? I always speak up for women and children, health and safety. I don't support any kind of abuse. 
especially from government and law enforcement. What happened to you that made you feel like you were being abused? There's a lot of bad things that have happened to me for speaking up for my community. Anything you want to tell us? I mean, my sign today is I want justice on one side, and on the other side, it's tell the Rhode Island State Police to do the right thing. What did they, what they need to what do what the right thing about? Sorry about that, folks, but the frauditor was temporarily broken, so we had to jumpstart him. What's the issue with the state police, Ryan? I'm here, I'm, I'm here to hear I don't have any issues with the Rhode Island State Police. What, uh, what do they do? I want them to do the right thing. Regarding what? The authorities in Rhode Island know about some very bad things that have happened to me. I've contacted many different agencies and many different authorities. And I'm being... <laughs> Basically, I'm being abused for speaking up for my community and for speaking up about the systems. What's your last name? She doesn't want to give her a last name. All right, we're here to talk about you. We're not here to talk about her. Right. Am I being detained? No. I wonder what took you so long to ask that question. Maybe the uh, malfunction we experienced was a lot more serious than we actually thought. We may have to dig deeper into what's going on, but that might be a video for another day. But in the meantime, let's carry on and see if he says, yeah, if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay, or something like that. You know how these frauditors are. She just whispered something in the office's ear. All right, then I'm going to leave. No, actually, no, I'm going to stay here because I have the right to be here. Absolutely. And I have the freedom of speech. We have the right to trick on you, know. Don't you want to be heard? Okay. I want I want justice. Us. Okay, are you trying like I mean every time we drive by you're trying to yell to us to, to listen to you, so here we are. You wanted us to pull over, right? You always yell for us to pull over, so here we are, we're trying to listen to you. I want justice. So what? I'm not always yelling at you to pull over. No, oh, but you gotta understand what I'm saying, right? Like we want to hear what you have to say. What do you want? Yeah, to Yeah, this is not how you go about getting justice for me. Coming up to me lying, saying that I'm causing problems, bringing a mental health worker, trying to say this thing's wrong with my mental health. There has never been anything wrong with my mental health. Well, if you're yelling at women and children, then uh, you might be misdiagnosing yourself and thinking that you don't have a mental disorder. You really should leave that to the professionals. Have you ever checked out for it? Ever. The police are always lying about my mental health. There's nothing wrong with my mental health. What agency does she work for? She works for the North Kingstown Police Department. She works for the North Kingstown Police Department. What mental health agency does she work for? Uh, you can ask her that. All right. So he doesn't want to tell me what mental health agency she works for. No, well, that's not the case. I, I just don't know the exact name of it, and I don't want to do her any discredit, you know? He said he doesn't know the name of the mental health agency that she works for. Okay. I don't know if it's Gateway or, or whoever it is. He said he doesn't know if it's Gateway. I don't want to miss So I'm outside the Quonset Gateway Plaza, and he said he doesn't know if it's Gateway. So he's Pluto, number 63, is telling me he doesn't even know what mental health agency she works for. I'm not a mental health worker. She is. And so she acts like she cares about me. She won't even give her last name. And you're both wearing sunglasses, trying to hide your face. No, I'm wearing sunglasses. Well, she wouldn't want to take hers off. Well, why doesn't she want to give her last name and why doesn't she want to take him off? Well, it's well, super sketch. She's not an officer. She doesn't have to give her name. What's her name again? Her first name? Allie. Allie? Allie! What agency do you work for? What? You work for the Providence Center. There it is. Yeah, and it really appears that uh, she was sent out here because you need some uh, mental evaluations. And uh, after hearing some of your gibbering lunacy, I would tend to agree that you need some form of evaluation, at the very least, to determine your mental stability. Which is probably why they're about to take you in here in the next few minutes. Uh, what a surprise. She works for the Providence Center. The Providence Center. The Providence Center here in Rhode Island is a very bad system-run facility. Uh, they try putting people on dangerous narcotics all the time. I'm all about women and children, health and safety. Frank, can I read your signs? Do you mind if I... No. I want you to leave me alone and stop lying about me. And tell the state police that I want justice.
side conversations. The Providence Center is so evil. That's not true. Okay. There's nothing wrong with my mental health. Let me hear me out and I'll let you speak for Brad. She's a clinician. She has legal authority to uh, basically certify you and mandate that you're going to go get mental health treatment, all right? I don't need that at all. You, you need to... Hard time. Regardless Officer, of you are violating my rights. Every time I hear a frauditor say that their rights have been violated, I kind of uh, cringe on that because they're never able to identify which rights have been violated, or if they do identify rights, it's usually never the right ones. It's usually something that they straw manned into existence. Telling me that well, I disagree. She, uh, she doesn't even want to get her last name. She has the authority to uh, certify you. So Officer. Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to Am I being right. detained? Right now, yeah, you're in protective custody. So, are you going to... Uh... Hard time to go he's, he's telling me that I'm being detained. I have not said anything wrong or done anything wrong. They're stepping closer. I'm going to take a step backwards. And well, now there you go. And according to his webpage, he was kept for 35 days after this. So I guess the mental evaluation suggested that he needed some help. So maybe he got some help after all. But then again, I know people like this and, uh, well, some of them you really can't help out at all. And I'm not saying all of them are like that, but there are definitely some that you will never be able to help. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.